Hey AP world, welcome to unit two. Let's play Jeopardy live. I I hope not. Let me see. Uh, it's lagging a little bit. I called them about my internet and uh, they didn't have very good news for me. They were like, oh, it's as fast as it can possibly go. I was like, I, I don't think that's accurate. Uh, but anyways, you are here to represent. Yes. Okay. We got a lot of kiddos in here already. That's awesome. Uh, so let me run down the list. Um, let's see. I'm going to look on the look here because sometimes on my phone they come in a little bit faster. So team one, uh, Runtion, is it Runtion? Runtion do? I don't, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> maybe a nickname. Is that your nickname? You want to be team leader for team one? Uh, horrified kid. <laughs> These names. You can be a team leader for team two. Yasmin, you want to be team leader for team three? Casey, how about you be team leader for team four? Uh, let's see. Uh, Alina, welcome in. Is that how I say your name? You're going to be on team one. Catherine, hi, how you doing? Catherine, you're going to be on team two. Oscar, team three. Let's see, Ridwan, welcome in. You can be on team four. Um, Par uh, Perry, let's see. Oh, shoot, it's scooched up. Hold on just a second. You're going to be on team one. Richard, I don't think I have you on a team yet. You're going to be on team two. And Benita, hello. You will be on team three. Kike Marine, first time actually in a live. All right. Well, make sure and subscribe so that you don't uh, miss any more of our lives. We have a good time on here. Koala, you are going to be on team one. And Sahir, welcome in. You're going to be on team two. Uh, fun me, fun me. Welcome in. You will be on team three. Yeah, it might lag a little bit. I'm working on my internet. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping that it, it stays with us. I might have to get different internet because AT&T is, uh, not working for me very well. Uh, team four, life of heaven. You can be on team four. And if you want me to call you by your real name, just let me know. Melanie, welcome in. You can be on team one, Mel. Hi, Charlotte. You're on team two. Oh, we're going to get some good competition tonight. I like it. I like it. Aaliyah, you're going to be on team three. Uh, Virginia, you will be on team four. We might have to make another team. We got a lot of kiddos joining. This is awesome. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, T, I'm going to make you team five, team leader. And RB. That, no, that's my name. Oh, that's your name. Did I did I say it right? Wait. Oh, you can call me Ryan. Okay. Ryan is Runtion. All right. Uh, let's see. RB, you're going to be on team five. Oswaldo, welcome in. You're going to be on team five. Uh, Tobina, you are on team five. Oh, hi, Fardine. Glad to have you in here. Um, Aphrodite, you will be on team five as well. If you want me to call you by your real name, just let me know. Sarah, welcome in. You're going to be on team five as well. And Gigi, you will be, let's see, who else? I'll put you on team one. All right, so this is how it works. Um, if you haven't gotten on a team yet, uh, let me know. I will run down the team list in just a second. But whoever is the team leader needs to have access to teams I didn't get my other computer. Mm, actually, uh, you could actually you need to have access to me on Remind. So um, if you don't have me in class, then you won't have Remind, and that is just for Jeopardy. So hopefully, there's somebody in each team that has me on Remind, uh, the final Jeopardy, so that we can uh, chat privately about how much you want to wager. Okay. Uh, Peace, I don't think I got you on a team. I'm going to put you on team two. And I think I got everybody 
else? Okay, Esther. All right, sounds good. Carlos, nice to meet you. All right, so here's our teams. We got team one, Run, uh, Runtion, which was, did you say Ryan? I think he said Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Uh, so we got Ryan, Alina, love that name, Pari, Koala, Mel, and Gigi. Mel, I believe you're on my remind, so you could maybe be the team lead, unless Ryan, are you on my remind? I'm not sure. Let me know. Either one of you guys can be team lead. Number two is Fardine, Catherine, Richard, Zahir, Charlotte, and Peace. Fardine, I know you're on my remind. Catherine, I think you are too. Charlotte, I think you might be on remind. So any of you guys um, will have us uh, yeah, I can. Well, if you have the Remind app, that's what I'm talking about. Do you have the Remind app? Let me know. Uh, let's see. Mia, welcome in. I'm going to put you on team three. And Naomi, hi, how's it going? I'm going to put you on team four. We're going to have an awesome competition tonight. This is great. All right. So team three is Yasmin, Oscar, Benita, Esther, Aaliyah, and Mia. Yasmin, Oscar, Benita, Esther, Aaliyah, and Mia. Uh, Yasmin or Oscar, do you guys have me on Remind? Let me know. Uh, Casey Ridwan, uh, Kike, what was Kike's name? Oh, he told me. I can't remember. Uh, Kike, I can't remember. Tell me again. I can't find the comment. You're going to be on Team 4. Life of Heaven, Virginia, and Naomi, you guys are also on Team 4. So Casey Ridwan, Kike. Life of Heaven, Virginia and Naomi, you guys are on team four. Uh, Life of Heaven, you've got me on remind, sweet. So you can do the final Jeopardy if need be. And Oscar, awesome, great. Uh, what team am I on, Kike? You are on uh, team four. Tell me your name again, because I lost it. Um, Richard says, I'll be back, I'm gonna get some socks. You need some socks, play Jeopardy. All right, Richard, go for it. Uh, and then we have team five with T, R, B, Oswaldo, Tobina, Aphrodite and, uh, Aphrodite, and Sarah. Did I miss anybody? All right, so I'm noticing that it is lagging uh, pretty bad here. Uh, we'll just work with it. I, I think I'm going to have to probably get new internet. I talked to AT&T yesterday, and they were like, oh, you've got the fastest internet. It's great. It's wonderful. You just have too many things connected. Well, guess what? I only have my commuter, computer connected. Everything else is turned off, and it's still lagging. So must be their fault, right? Uh, anyway, well, Richard, you didn't miss much because my internet was lagging for a little bit, so you didn't miss much. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, Benita, did I get you on a team? I think I did, yes. Asim, I'm not sure if I put you on a team. I don't think so. I'll put you on team five, all right? All right, I think everybody else is on a team five. Yes, I need gamer internet. Thank you. Well, here's the thing. AT&T, on their little like blurb, it says, with the internet that I have, stream multiple videos at the same time. Really? Because I can't even stream one, please. Uh, yeah, I think I might switch to Xfinity. Um, I just haven't had time to, to work that out. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's cool. Welcome, Innocent. Um, where do you teach? Uh, okay. Okay. So let's see. We got a uh, T-Mobile internet is the best, huh? Okay. Rid one, what kind of internet do you have? Let me know. Uh, how are we supposed to communicate with the rest of the team? Okay. So how this works, your team leader is going to be choosing the game, like the, the, the row and how much money. <laughs> it's been a long day. I can't talk. Uh, so um, the team leader will choose that. Then when we go to Final Jeopardy, it, the communication is a little bit difficult. If you guys want to, um, you know, if we, if we going into the future, what we could do is like have like a Google Doc where you can share your emails with your team so that we can like get all on, you know, you guys can have a Google Doc or something. Um, but pretty much how I do the Final Jeopardy is I just leave it up to the people who are, have my class and have communication with me. 
All right. Um, so it, it is a little bit challenging. We'll, we'll try to figure out a different way to do that in the future. Uh, so team leader for team one, um, Perry, I think you have me on um, Remind, and I think Mel has me on Remind. So you guys are team leaders for team one. Team two, Fardine and Catherine and Charlotte may have me on Remind. So here I think is also on Remind. So any of those kiddos can be team leads. Um, and if you guys want to contact each other on Remind, you can do that too. Yasmin, Oscar, and maybe Aaliyah might have me on Remind for team three. Casey, Virginia. You know, I could make, why don't I make a new Remind? How about I do that? That would be better. I will make a new Remind for you guys, and then you can join. And if you want to participate in the Final Jeopardy, you can do it that way. So just give me a second here. I'm going to have to um, give you the link. While I'm doing that, get out any notes that you have from Unit 2. You are more than welcome to use notes. However, you may not have time because it is the first person whose uh, comment pops up. So let's see, we're gonna call this Remind YouTube Party 2020. How about that? Sounds good. And this is how you can join the Remind if you have the app. Here is the YouTube PAR. That's how you can get in. Um, and then, if you don't have the app, you can also text to get into it. But I don't think you'd be able to communicate with me if you do that that way. So just um, you can download the Remind app and join that way. So it's at YouTube PAR. So you'll only need that for the final Jeopardy. We can kind of put that to the side for right now. So if you want to, uh, if you want to download that, then that's fine. It is actually a code. Yes. Join team one. Oh, okay. Look at you. All right. So Ryan made his own remind for you guys to join. So team one, if you want to, you can uh, join at team one REM. There you go. Awesome. Okay. Great thinking, Ryan. I didn't even think about that. If you guys want to make a special remind for your team, that's fine. Or we can just all kind of... Um, you know, communicate through my remind. Hey, we have 37 people in here playing this game. What? This is a record for Jeopardy. So cool. Make sure and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. All right, we're going to get started. The only other thing that is going on here with this board, I will kind of keep track of the ones that you've already done on my piece of paper here because it doesn't go away off the screen once we use it. So I'll kind of remind you every once in a while what's left, but we're basically going to play everything that's on the board and then we'll go to Final Jeopardy. <laughs> Ryan says, it was my idea. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. It was a good idea. I like it. I like it. And you're both Ryan. So hey, it works out. All right, guys. Well, I'm so glad to have you have everyone here tonight. So let's get started. Um, let's see. Let's start with team number one because Ryan was here first. So we'll start with his team first. Go ahead, um, someone from your team, can be anybody, whoever's comment I see first, tell me the category and how much money you want to play for. I'm gonna hop back over here to my phone because I think it pops up a little bit faster here. Let's see. All right, so someone from team one, tell me how much money and what category. Ryan says Mongols for a 500. You're going for the big guns. All right, here we go. What policy did Kublai Khan enforce in China and gain the support of Buddhist and Taoist as a result? What policy did Kublai Khan enforce in China and gain the support of Buddhist and Taoist as a result? First answer to pop up that's correct gets the points. And enforce is spelled wrong. Sorry, I was half asleep when I was making this. What policy did Kublai Khan enforce in China? And as a result, he gained the support 
a uh, Buddhist and Taoist. Yes, very good, Ryan. What is religious tolerance? And you don't, you're not required to put it in a question, so you don't have to do that. But yes, very good. Five hundred for team number one. All right, team number one is on the board. What is religious tolerance? Very good. Let's go. Yes, you are ready. All right, team one, what else do you want? Let's see. We had uh, team one. Someone from team one, let me know what you want for how much. Casey has a remind in there. If you're on team four, she made you guys a remind so that you can talk to each other. That's kind of cool. I like that idea. We might have to keep some of the same teams every week, but if you guys want to switch it up too, we can. We can just make new reminds. Uh, so anyone can answer. Yes, Richard, anyone can answer. Team one is just picking our category, but the first answer that comes up, like let's say you get it, then your team will get to pick the category. Sorry, I didn't explain that. I'm used to the kiddos from last year. They already knew the rules. All right, team one, what do we want? What do we want? If not, I'll pick one for you. How about Mongols for 400? And then if you can come up with one, you can pick another one too. All right, Mongols for 400. Name the famous traveler who visited Kublai Khan's court and wrote about it. Name the famous traveler who visited Kublai Khan's court and wrote about it. Does the answer be after you read it out? No, you can answer as soon as you see it pop up, if you know it. Uh, so the first one I've got popped up here is Alina was the first with Marco Polo. Awesome. Good job, Alina. You are on. What team are you on? You're on team one. So 400 goes to team one. All right. Team one is on fire. Sweet. Team one, you get to choose again. It is the first one who pops up. So all of you guys were right. It was Marco Polo. But Alina got it. Santos says, boy, whoever said who's Marco Polo, you going to fit. No, no, this, they're putting it. Santos, I think they're putting it in the question like Jeopardy. Um, did I put you on a team, Santos? I don't think I did. Is anybody else still here that needs to be put on a team? Santos, I'll put you on team four. They need another person. All right. Uh, what do we want, team one? Looks like you guys are liking the Mongols. I think you told me uh, Mongols for 400. So I'm going to go with Mongols for 300 since that's, I, I'm just, I'm just thinking that's what you're going to want. Idris, you need on a team? All right, you got it. You can be on team three. Anybody else need to be on a team? Let me know. Idris, you are on team three. But it's the first one who answers. So try to win it for your team. Oh, the video is delaying. I'm so sorry. What about my voice? Is it with the video? Anaya, team two, put you on team two. And Life of Heaven, you are on team four. All right, I, I'm convinced I need better internet, so I'll work on that this week. The next Jeopardy game that we have will be better. I think I'm gonna switch to Xfinity because this internet is the worst. All right, uh, so we're gonna go with Mongols 300. Explain one way a culture changed or adapted due to the Mongol rule. Explain one way a culture changed or adapted due to the Mongol rule. Khalid, I will put you on team one. Centralization in Russia. Good job, uh, Sahir. Yes, very good. Centralization in Russia was one. Uh, what else do we got? We got cultural exchange. Yes, but be uh, be more specific with that, Ryan. Uh, RB, women in China had higher status. The Chinese stopped the exam. They made tacos. Oh, Mia, that would have been so great. Did they make tacos for real? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever heard that one, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let me know if it's true. Richard says Russia became centralized. Very good. Catherine says Russia got a centralized government. And Fardine says Persian people impacted the Mongols and they got mixed in. Yep. 
the Silk Road was safer. Awesome, awesome, awesome answers. Uh, but Sahir gets that one for his team. Sahir, you are on team two. So team two is on the board with 300 points. Woohoo! Go team two. I forgot my little sound machine. It's in the other room. I'd have to go grab it. All right, team two, let me know which one you want. Category and how much. We have everything left on the board except for three, four, and 500 of the Mongols. Everything else is up for grabs. So anybody from team two, let me know what you want. The first one, I will take it. So Mia, I got to know, like, are the tacos for real? Like, let me know because I want to know if that's for real. <laughs> there definitely was a lot of uh, cross-cultural interactions and things like that, but I've never heard about Mongolian tacos. So if that's real. Let me know. All right, team two, what do you want? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not even coming up over here. Okay, so uh, let's see. Oh, da, 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 da. They are real. Mia says they are real. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, that's interesting. All right. Catherine says, Silk Road for 500 going for the big guns. Here we go. Describe one of the commercial technologies that occurred due to the Silk Road. Describe one of the commercial technologies that occurred due to the Silk Road. And since it says described, you can't just tell me what it is. You need to describe it. Tell me why it's important. So I've got one from Richard, cash, and I got one from Kike, saddles. Yes, these are all true, but why are they important? Describe it. Tell me why it's important. Camel saddles that helped carry weight. Uh, let's see. Kike, what team are you on? Uh, would that go? Let's see. Perry's not on your team. Let's see. Anaya is, though. I think. No, she's not. All right. All of these are pretty good. I'm trying to see which one's the best, though. Let's see. Gigi, what uh, what team did I have you on? I don't think I had you on a team. I'm going to put you on uh, team four with Kike. And then uh, between both of your answers, that's not too bad. Coin money was too heavy. Okay. Oh, I see what you're talking about, Richard. Okay. All very good answers. Points will go to team four. The, um, the judge has spoken. So team four, you get 500 points. You are now on the board. Awesome. Okay, team four, you have control of the board. Let me know what you'd like. 500 from Silk Road is gone, and 3, 4, and 500 of the Mongols is gone. Let me know what you would like. All right. <laughs> Celebration. I hear you. Uh, team 1 has 900 points. Team 2 has 300. Team 4 has 500. And Team 3 and 5, we're waiting for you guys. But, hey, listen, Final Jeopardy can be a killer. Let me tell you, one time... The team that was down the whole time won Final Jeopardy. It was awesome. Um, Mia, they actually did make tacos in the, Mo in the Mongolian Empire. Huh. I'll have to check that out, Mia. All right, Team 4, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Team 4. Silk Road for 400. You got it, Casey. Define Pax Mongolica and how it relates to the Silk Road. So make sure you put in that extra. Define Pax Mongolica, Mongolica, sorry, and how it relates to the Silk Road. Take your time. The best answer will get this. But don't take too long. Uh, let's see. Oswaldo said, peace by Mongols secured trade. I'll take that, Oswaldo. That's good. Uh, let's see. What team are you on? You are on team five. Team five is on the board. Woohoo! With 400. Awesome. Way to go. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, protects the Silk Road. Yep. Uh, time when soldiers protected the Silk Road. Awesome. Pax Mongolica is the peace in the Mongol lands. This created safety for travelers. You guys are rocking this. That's awesome. All right, Team 5, you have control of the board. Let me know what you'd like. Pretty much everything except for the top 
in uh, Silk Road and the Mongols. Casey says, Pax Mongolica was a period of time during the Mongol, Mongol Empire where the Silk Road was revived by the Mongols because they protected it. Very good. Uh, Farnine says they protected the Silk Road. And T says, Pax Mongolica soldiers protected the Silk Road. Yes, very good. Those are great answers. All right, Team 5, let me know what you'd like. Just pick one quickly here. If you don't, I will pick one for you. Good job getting on the board, Team 5. Team 3, it is your time to shine, baby. I feel it. This next question is for you. Hi, Akash. Uh, let's see, Akash. Uh, I'm going to put you on Team 5. It's the first person to answer. And welcome in. No problem for being late. All right, Team 5, I'm going to put... Okay, Silk Road for 3, Tobina says. All right, here we go. Silk Road for 300. Define caravanserai. Define caravanserai. <laughs> Your Wi-Fi is not working very well. One time we were playing Jeopardy and one of my students was like, that's it. I'm hardwiring to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's for real now. Uh, all right. Uh, Oswaldo says towns 100 miles apart for resupply. Perry says, Caravanserai, large trade cities. Very good. So Oswaldo gets that one for Team 5. 300. You guys are now up to 700 points. Good job. Very awesome. All right. Uh, yes, all those answers are correct. You, not only do you need fast internet, you, <laughs> being a fast typer helps too. All right. So Team 5, let me know what you'd like next. We have everything it, uh, in these two rows. I'm sorry. I can't. It's been such a long day. These right here are out. Everything else is available. Let me know what you would like. I think we should like um, rebuild a caravanserai. Like I, I think that would be a cool like field trip. You know, if we could go visit one. I wonder if any of the old caravanserai uh, towns are still in existence. I have to check that out. All right, Ryan, wild card for five hundred. Here we go. Wild card for five hundred. Explain, uh, explain, that should say one, explain one effect of the Black Death. Explain one effect of the Black Death. Uh, RB killed lots of people. Mm, it did. Not enough explanation, though. Be specific. Uh, end of feudalism. Good. Uh, why, Sahir? Uh, killed off feudalism, women's status rose, good, killed around 25 million people, very good, population decreased, yes, so Sahir, you got that one, uh, you were the first one to talk about it, so let's see, Sahir, you're on team two, that would be 500 for team two, you guys are now up to 800 points, very good, all of you were right, about 25 million deaths, one third, medicine began to evolve, evolve. yes, did you guys all watch my video today? Um, what'd you think? Did you notice that the dragon's head moved? That dragon's real, y'all. He's he's no joke. If you haven't watched the Black Death video, you need to. I have a pet dragon. Uh, yeah. Cool. The people got a lot of money uh, working and being skilled. Yes, that's right. All right. Next up, uh, team two. What do you want? Let me know what you want on the board here. I got a couple of kiddos that are texting me. Uh, no, it isn't. It isn't mandatory. Mm -hmm. One of them was texting me on uh, uh, Nord's texting me on Teams, and that's totally fine, Nord. You can absolutely text me there. Um, I just probably won't text you back because I can't flop in between the two. Uh, it was not a bird, Fardine. That is a dragon. Oh, my goodness. I, I am so glad that he is not in the room right now. He would not be happy about that comment, Fardine. Um, <laughs> all right, team two, what do you want? You want me to pick for you? I think I'll pick for you. How about, uh, let's get, let's finish the Mongols. Mongols for 200. Give one example of how Mongol culture adapted to one of the cultures they took over. Give one example of how Mongol culture adapted to one of the cultures that they took over.
Make sure and be a little bit specific here. Uh, Akash says they converted to Islam in Persia. Yes, good job. That will that will do it for you, Akash. So team five, you get that 200 points. You are now up to 900. Good job. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, Islam in Persia, conversion to Islam. Mongols use the Chinese government system. Yep. And that really upset some of the Chinese because the Chinese didn't want foreigners, remember? Uh, they transformed into Islam. Mongols became farmers in Persia. Uh, I think I think, I think, think it was just Persia. Maybe it might have been in China too, Aphrodite. I'd have to look that up again. Uh, Casey says they some of them abandoned the nomadic way. Good. Uh, this is not Diana, but Nord. Okay, that's cool, Nord. Uh, the use of military force and some converted to them. Yes, very good. All right. Sounds good. You guys did a good job on that one. All right. So it's back to team five. Team five, do you want to choose one? We still have 100 left in the Mongols, one and two in Silk Road, all of the trade routes and all of connectivity, almost all of wildcard except for 500. So let me know uh, what you want. Let me know what you want. We still have 37 people here. This is the biggest game of Jeopardy we've ever played, guys. This is so exciting. Like, you don't even know. Super exciting. All right. All about connectivity for 500. Here we go, Ryan. Explain the diffusion of Buddhism to Southeast Asia uh, was evident. How I think... <laughs> Man, I must have been asleep when I was doing this. Explain the diffusion of Buddhism to Southeast Asia, how it was evident during that period. So, like, give me an example. That's what it's trying to say. So sorry, my wording. I'll, I'll have to uh, proofread this next time. Uh, through all the temples, the Indian trade route spread from India. Yes, it's evident in the temples. Very good. So let's see. Um, looking for the best one. Akash says it spread through trade and took over some of the kingdoms. Let's see. Anybody on Akash teams tell me about the temples? Hmm. Yes. So T and Akash, if I would combine yours together, you guys got the points for your team. So go team five. Very good. Uh, so team five, 500 points to you. Yes, through the temples. Can anyone name one of the temples? Oh, Oscar got it. The Temple of Angkor Wat. Very good. Oscar, uh, what team are you on? Oscar's on team three, and they don't have any points yet. So, Oscar, you just got 100 points for your team. Just like that. It was like bonus points. It was like magic. Yes, we believe in magic around here. Magical dragons and whatnot. So very good, Oscar Angar Watt. Awesome. All right. So who's got the board? Uh, team five, you have the board. Let me know what you would like. Team five. We still have 100 left in Mongols. How about we finish that off? Let's finish the Mongols off. Explain one tactic that Genghis Khan used to develop the Mongol Khanites. What was one tactic that Genghis Khan used to develop the Mongol Khanites? Waiting for it to come in. Waiting for it. Siege, Richard. -da 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 -da. Richard got one for team two. All right, Richard. 100 points going to team two. What else do we got? Siege warfare, massacre, siege weapons, uh, conquer, taking over conquered armies. Yes, all of those are awesome. All right, Mongols are wiped out for once. No, just kidding. <laughs> they usually wiped everyone else out, right? But we've got that row wiped out now. Uh, yes, Oswaldo says small team goes in, repeat, uh, retreats, ambushes with a larger force. All these are great tactics. Uh, well, Richard, it's because you got those socks. Those socks are, you know, helping you out, man. Um, <laughs> I am the best. You should all quit now. I had a kid that played last year that was very much like you, Richard. It was funny. But I don't think he had the magical socks. So you might have a leg up because of that. All right, team two, let me know what you want. We have 100, 200 in Silk Road, all of Trade Route, all of Connectivity, and everything except for 500 in Wild Card. So let me know what you want. Warm toes equal victory. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Ryan, uh, what kind of Wi-Fi do you have? Because clearly I need whatever Wi-Fi you have. Uh, it's way better. 
All right, guys, team five, what you want? Anybody, anybody? Anybody from team five? T, RB, Arzwaldo, Tabina, Aphrodite, Sarah, Asim, or Akash, anybody? Oh, Asim is our teacher that's, that's hanging out with us tonight. Um, so we probably shouldn't let a sim cheat, right? Because <laughs> we should have a teacher Jeopardy game. Oh, man, that would be fun. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we? Uh, Oswaldo says 400. Uh, oh, Safa. Safa, do I have you on a team? I don't think I do. Safa, you're going to be on team five now. Um, and then uh, what about Saba? I think Saba's new, too. I don't think I have Saba on a team. I'll put you on team one, Saba. Um, and then Damien, I don't have you on a team yet either. You're going to be on team two. Man, we could have had like seven teams tonight. This is great. All right, so Oswaldo, wild card for 400. Here you go. Explain how the point of view of Marco Polo is different than the point of view of Ivan Batuta. Explain how the point of view of Marco Polo is different than the point of view of Ivan Batuta. So think about the way that they wrote. Marco Polo is writing about Kublai Khan's court in the Yan, uh, Yan Dynasty, and Ivan Batuta is traveling through the Islamic world. So how are their how is their point of view different? So here it says European versus Arab. That's true. Think a little bit further. Think about the people that they're writing about. Mel, you're right. Which Who is a foreigner? Abambatuda is Muslim. Oswaldo is Italian. Okay, you guys are on the right track. They were in different areas. True. But how does that affect their point of view? Islam versus European. True. But who are they writing about? Marco Polo likes the Mongols. Why does he like the Mongols? Think about... Why that's the case. Marco Polo worked with the Mongols, but it, okay, so Akash, very close. That's true. Uh, th but think about, uh, you've got it kind of backwards. Look at that statement again. Uh, Safa says, Ibn Batuta had a Muslim point of view. True, Safa. Who was he traveling amongst? Think about that and how it relates to what Marco Polo was doing. Uh, Farneen says Marco Polo was European. Ivan was North African. True. But what about the people they're writing about? Oscar says Marco Polo was employed and cared for Kublai Khan. Ivan Batuta was visiting from a different Muslim culture. So, Oscar, you're super close. You're very close to what I'm looking for here. Uh, they both came from different re regions. That's true, Tabina. They did. Think about who they're going to see. Okay, so Marco Polo is going to see Kublai Khan. And is he like Kublai Khan or is he different? And then what about Ivan Batuta and who he's going to visit? Uh, let's see. Melanie says Marco Polo is a foreigner who worked with the Mongols. Okay, so very good. So Marco Polo's point of view is a foreigner coming into the Mongolian Empire. M good, Melanie. Now compare it to Ivan Batuta and you'll have it. Uh, Ryan says they looked at a different culture, Mongols and African versus Muslim. Yeah, you're on the right track. Polo was in the Mongol court. Ivan Batuta was a traveler. True. So far, Melanie's the closest. Marco Polo traveled to Chinese empires, whereas Ivan Batuta wrote about the Islamic world. Harry, uh, you're good. You're, you're close. That's very true. But why, why does it matter that Ivan Batuta is traveling in the Islamic world? What's important about that? Uh, let's see. Casey says Marco Polo worked with the Mongols while Ivan Batuta went on a hajj and wrote more religious things. Okay, Ivan Batuta traveling the world of Islam, and Marco Polo was working with the Mongols. Okay, RB, you're super close. Ivan Batuta was traveling the world of Islam. Why is that important in relation to him? And why is it important that Marco Polo was working with the Mongols in relation to him? Richard said, Ivan uh, Batuta was with Muslims. Marco Polo was around Mongols who were different. Oh, you guys are all so close. Yes, you're so close. You're just not saying it. Fardin says, Ibn Batuta was traveling the world of Islam as a Muslim scholar, but Marco Polo worked in the Mongol Empire due to his talent. That first part, Fardin, is on point. Yes, that's what's important about Ibn Batuta. 
he his point of view is as a Muslim scholar traveling through the um, Islamic world. But what is different about Marco Polo's point of view? Let's see if we got it. Uh, Bombatuda was traveling the world of Islam and wrote more religiously. No, no. Marco Polo traveled from Europe and a backward land while Bombatuda came from the center of culture. Go with what Fardine and Melanie are, are going with. Um, they're the closest. Iban was to oversee how Islam was being put into place while Marco Polo took diplomatic journeys. That's true, but that's not what we're looking for. Marco Polo was a foreigner. Yes, Casey. Marco Polo was a foreigner working with the Khans. Ibn Battuta was traveling in the world of Islam, and he himself was Islam. So there's the difference in point of view. Good job. So between Casey and Melanie and um, Fardine, we got it. So Marco Polo is a foreigner going into the Mongol culture. He doesn't know anything about it. His point of view might be really skewed because of that, right? He's looking at it from a Christian Italian point of view, whereas Ibn Battuta is going around the Muslim world as a Muslim. So his might not be as far off. Now, does that mean he's always going to agree? No, we've read plenty of documents where he was like, what's going on is not right. It's not okay. Why is that? Well, that's because there were different forms of Islam practiced throughout the Islamic world. But his point of view is still going to be looking at it through the lens of Islam. All right, really good stuff there, guys. All right, so Casey, you're on team four, and Melanie is on team one, and Fardine was on team two. So how many points was that? I'm going to give each one of your teams 100 points uh, just because you all three kind of got that one. So remember, point of view is like, what is it about the person that's going to change their point of view? Uh, Marco Polo is a Christian, so he might have a different point of view when looking at what's going on in the Yuan dynasty. Okay, uh, so Marco Polo, Marco Polo was a foreigner going into the Mongolian Empire, or the Mongolian realm, all right? So he's going to look at it from a Christian point of view and also from a foreign point of view, all right? And he may agree with it. He may think that it's really been run great, but he's not looking at it from the Mongolian point of view, right? It's different. He's different. Now, on the other hand, Ibn Battuta is going into the Islamic world, and he is himself Muslim. So he will be looking at it through the lens of being a Muslim. All right. Does that kind of make a little bit more sense? Let me know. Crew, hey, welcome in. Uh, yeah, there's still some space, kind of. We should have formed another team, but that's okay. We'll put you on team three, crew. All right. Yes, you did write paragraphs about this, T. Yes, you did. <laughs> I like to throw this information back at you every once in a while. All right, I think that was wild card for 400. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one since we kind of all won that one. Let's finish off the Silk Road. So uh, those of you who are just joining, it's anybody who answers first for their team gets the answer. Uh, Harshdeep, I uh, just got here. Yeah, you can join. Um, I'm gonna put you on team three. Harshdeep and um, Arnav, you can be on uh, team three as well. They need some, they need some help with getting some points on the board. They need some people with fast internet. They've had great answers, but their internet hasn't won out. They must have my internet. <laughs> my internet is not the greatest. Uh, yeah, sure. Eunice, Eunice Khan. All right. Rocking for the Mongols. Uh, we were just talking about the Mongols. Eunice, you can be on team three as well. All right. All right, team three, I hope I put some people on your team with some fast internet. Let's let's hope for that vibe. But it's okay. You're on the board, so you can at least play Final Jeopardy. All right, so Silk Road for 200. Name two technologies that made traveling the Silk Road possible. Name two technologies that made traveling the Silk Road possible. Go. And the first answer that pops up that's correct We'll get it. Let's see. The first one on my board was 
Akash, camel saddles and caravans. All right, very good. So camel saddles and caravans. I guess I'll I guess I'll take that. Uh, one hundred fourteen five. I don't know if caravans could really count as technology. I guess it does because you need to have like the technology of a caravan. Uh, stirrups could also be one. Compass, not so much needed on the Silk Road. Um, that's more with the uh, trans or the Indian Ocean. All right. Uh, so team five, you got those points. Which one would you like? We still have uh, 200 for Silk Road. Let's finish that one off. And then I'll let you guys choose next. So be thinking about what you want next. Name two technologies that, oh, we already did that one. I guess I did this one. Here we go. Name three luxury items uh, available on the Silk Road. Three luxury items available on the Silk Road. We've got 41 people in here playing Jeopardy, y'all. That is a huge new record. So excited about that. That is so exciting. Make sure you give it a thumbs up because you're having so much fun tonight reviewing. Uh, Perry, you're the first one I see. Spices, silk, and porcelain. What, what? All right, Perry, where are you at? You're on team one. So that's 100 points to team one. Let me make sure I get that right. All right, awesome. And going back to the game board, we are out of Silk Road and the Mongols are done. We have these two rows complete and... Then we have wild card and somebody put something in there. I think it was Ryan said one of the wild card ones. I'll give you that one, Ryan. Uh, and then Perry, you can pick the next one. All right. So wild card for 300. Explain one term or long term impact of the Mongols. Explain one long term impact of the Mongols. Explain one long term impact of the Mongols. Uh, you're going to have to give me more than that, Ryan. going to have to give me more than that. Uh, it used inventions and made them better. True, but, you know, be specific. Trade was revitalized. Okay, Tobina, I'll take that one. Trade is to revitalize. Very good. Uh, so, Tobina, that was 300. And Tobina is on team five. 1900 14 5. All right, we also have intercultural exchange, uh, cause Europeans to adopt siege warfare. All these are good. Mongols uh, spread the centralized government. Okay, good. Also, take note spreaded. That's not a word, it's spread. Okay, I see that all the time, and it's very easy to add an ED, but definitely you don't have to add it. Spread is the proper term for past and regular tense, okay? Just so you know. Uh, you, you learn something new every day about the English language. English language is difficult. Uh, Gutenberg Press, uh, so so it becomes the Gutenberg Press to here when it goes to Europe. Um, but yeah, you're right about that. The Mongols revitalized trade. Mongols re uh, revived the Silk Road. Okay, so here got it. Uh, black, yeah, block printing moves to Europe and then becomes the Gutenberg Press later. Very good. Yeah, the Europeans have a way of taking other people's inventions and making them just a little bit better and then claiming that they came up with it when they really didn't. It's kind of funny. Uh, that's that's kind of how history uh, can change over time when you learn more things about it, right? All right, so uh, who did I say? Oh, Perry, which one you want? Let me know what you want. Those were all great answers, guys. You did a great job with that. Lots of long-term impacts of the Mongols. Uh, also, I was reading about how um, Genghis Khan has like thousands of grandkids or something crazy like that. So yeah, you might want to read up on that. If you want to know the scandal of uh, Genghis Khan, that's his That's his trademark. Okay, uh, let's see. The Froyo to the world's ice cream. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Trans-Saharan and Indian Ocean trade route. All right, let's start knocking that out for 400. Here we go. Indian Ocean trade route expanded due to new technology. What were the three, or what were three interventions that enabled this expansion? Name three uh, innovations that enabled the expansion of the Indian Ocean or the Trans-Saharan trade route. Uh, 
so here says monsoon wind knowledge to house and compass Boom. i think my internet uh just cut out there for a minute but it's back now thank goodness all right good boats compass astrolabe junks ships uh i have a random question when was the babylonian era that was a long time before we started so that would have been before 1200 it's not in our curriculum anymore but uh it would have been would have been back remember when we were talking about like uh river valley civilizations would have been around that time frame all right awesome guys I think you're going to rock this test. I just, I have an amazing feeling about it. All right. So Sahir, you got that one right. Let me know which one you want. We have uh, all of the trade routes except 400. We have all of connectivity and one and 200 of wildcard. Let me know what you want. Are you there? Let's see if you came up on my phone. Sometimes it comes up on my phone first. All right, so here, think about what you want. The next time, I'm going to go ahead and do a wild card for 200. In what culture did women have the most rights during this period? In what culture did women have the most rights in this period? I think everyone knows this one. It's just going to be who can type it fastest. Uh, let's see. So here says Mongu with a... <laughs> of little colon should we give it to him guys i mean we know what he meant right he's just typing fast uh akash probably doesn't agree akash is probably like no we shouldn't give it to him i typed with an extra s what do you guys think bro i was so late <laughs> ah, everybody got it though all right so here i'll give it to you i knew what you meant uh team two 200 all right so the points here's what the points are looking like uh, team one is 1,100. Team two is 1,600. Team three is only 100, but you still have some points on the board. You can still get up there. Uh, 400, uh, four, team four, rather, is 600 points, and team five is 1,900. So it literally still is anyone's game because we have double jeopardy, okay, or final jeopardy. All right. Uh, so... Well, Mahungo, we know what he meant, Ryan. We know. Okay. Uh, listen, the judge has spoken. Don't make me get out my gavel. Okay. Um, we still have one for wild card. Let's finish up that row. What was the one attribute that made Genghis Khan a good ruler? What was one? So there are several. What was one attribute that made Genghis Khan a good ruler? Let me know. Oh, Ryan, it'll be fine. It's not rigged. Okay, let's see. Uh, Richard said, Double Jeopardy is such a good movie. It is a good movie. Oscar said, Trusted friends over family. All right, Oscar. Yeah, that was a good attribute. Um, he he made you prove your merit, um, not based on, like, you know, who you were, but how you treated him and how loyal you were. So, Oscar and Team 3 get another 100 points. All right, guys. He was strict. He was loyal. He remembered his friends. He was ruthless. Ooh, religious tolerance. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. So we're out of wild cards. We have everything in connectivity and everything except for 400 and trade routes. So I'm just going to work our way down. All right. So trade routes for 100. It's not let me click on it. Let's do 200. Uh, what is the goal of the griot? Sorry. What is the role of the griot? What is the role? of the griot. What is the role of the griot? Storyteller in Africa. Very good, Ryan. So Ryan is team number one. And da -da -da, team number one, you are right here and this is 200 points. Very good. Also preserver of history, storytelling. T, good. Preserver of history, Richard. Historian, yes, correct. They have this connection to the past, so they kind of like uh, show their authority through that connection of the past. Oh, I forgot to put the answer in. Okay. Uh, man, this I need to like edit this one. I don't know why this 100 isn't working, but uh, okay. 
All right, let's go to 300. I don't think we've done that one yet. What environmental factors played a role in the Indian Ocean trade route? What environmental factors played a role in the Indian Ocean trade route? Alina, good job. You're the first one that popped up. Monsoons. And Alina, you are on team one. So 300 for team one. Yes, monsoon wins. Super important for the Indian Ocean trade route. Awesome. Good job. All right, 500. This is the big guns for these two trade routes. Identify one cultural influence that Muslim merchants had on Sub-Saharan Africa. Identify one cultural influence that Muslim merchants had on Sub-Saharan Africa. I'm sweating typing my answers. Oh, don't sweat. Here's the thing. Even if you're not the first one, at least you're getting this information again. You know, uh, that's important. Uh, okay, who was the first one? Oswaldo says Islam, and that's true, but Akash says spread Islam. So I'm going to go with Akash. They're on the same team, though, so it works out. Akash, 500 points to you guys. Let me get that added in here. All right. Yes, spreading of Islam is very true. All right, so we need to finish up the connectivity row, and then we're on to Final Jeopardy. Yes, yes. All right, here we go. All about connectivity. Due to China's cultural influence, Japan and Korea adopted these two philosophies slash religions. Name them. Due to China's cultural influence, Japan and Korea adopted these two philosophies slash religions. Name them. Who was first? Mm, I saw, uh, let's see. Uh, Akash. Not Taoism and Confucianism. Sahir, so not Taoism and Buddhism. Buddhism and Confucianism. Good job, Oswaldo, for Team 5. Team 5 is raking in the points right now. Good job, Team 5. Yes, Confucianism and Buddhism. And I'm, I think that Taoism... Uh, spreads a little bit later, but during this time period, it was these two, okay? All right, very good. Yeah, you know, we didn't talk much about Japanese feudalism. We did it a little bit, but um, it's, it's also very interesting. I enjoy that topic. All right, let's go with 200 for connectivity. Swahili is a syncretic blend of these two languages. Swahili is a syncretic, syncretic blend of these two languages. What do we got? Who's going to be the first? Oscar, Bantu, and Arabic. Oscar, you got it first. Good job. Oscar is team three. What, what? Team three. Yes. Three, uh, 200 points for you guys. Awesome. He's like, we're not going down without a fight. I like it. All right. Uh, next up, we have connectivity for 300. Describe one of the effects of the Crusades. Describe one of the effects of the Crusades. Harshdeep says increased trade. Uh, okay, Harshdeep, I'll give you that. Harshdeep says increased trade. There are uh, group three gets 300 points. Oh, group three, you are on fire today. I like it. All right. Yes, increased trade. What else we got? More trade. Uh, spread Christianity, silk trade, open the rest of Europe to the world, spread religion, cultural exchange. Good. Describe one of the negatives of the exchange networks. Describe one of the negatives of the exchange networks. What is one of the negatives? Harshdeep says the spread of disease. Very good. 400 for team three. Team three, you now have 1,100 points. Awesome. Uh, team one, you have 1,600. Team two is 1,600. Team four is 600. Team five is uh, 2,500. 2,500 for team five. All right, still anybody's game. Literally, 
Um, I got a lot of black death, bubonic plague. Yes, that is definitely a negative. All right, and then the last two on the board. Connectivity for 400. Oh, we already did that one. Connectivity for 500. Here we go. Explain the diffusion of Buddhism to Southeast Asia. We already did that one too. I just must have not marked it off. All right, so I think we got everything. Let me see what, I don't know why that one won't click. I think we did this one. Yep, we did that one. All right, guys, we are ready for final Jeopardy. What, what? Final Jeopardy. All right, so team one, you have 1,600 points. Team two, you have 1,600 points. Team three, you have 1,100 points. Team four, you have 600 points. And team five, you have 2,500 points. So this is how it works. I think I have, okay, I didn't change the topic. Hold on just a second. Man, I really did not do well on this. Let me look and see what the topic is because I can't remember. I was doing this while I was talking to another teacher about some things that are going on right now. And clearly I wasn't, uh, clearly I wasn't paying attention to changing all this. Okay, so your topic is the 1400s and technology. Your topic is the 1400s and technology, not reconstruction. I was taking this from a, a game we played for US history. So the topic is 1400s, I'm gonna put this in here, 1400s and technology. Now, what you need to do is, uh, if you have my remind, you need to send me a remind of how much you would like to wager. Don't put it in the chat, okay? Because you don't want the other teams to find out. Um, if you have a remind together as your team, then talk about it as a team. If you don't have a way to like talk to your team, then um, just give me a number that you think is good and I'll average them together, okay? I need a wager from every team. So, so far, team one, I have a wager. If anybody else from team one wants to chime in, you can. Let me see here. Uh, oh, and you can also um, join my or mine too if you want to just throw in a, a suggestion. Okay, so here I got yours. What team are you on? So here's on team two. Okay, Oscar is team three. And oh, we got we got a change. We got a change. They must be a uh, must be talking with their team. Team two has uh, 1600 points. So that's how many you got. All right, I've got a wager for team one. I got one for team two and team three. And I have one for team four, wait, or sorry, for team five. I'm waiting on team four. So one, team one and team two all have 1,600 points. Three has 1,100 points, four has 600 points, and team five has 2,500 points. Okay, so I need team four's wager. Send that to me on Remind, Casey, Ridwan, Kike, uh, Life of Heaven, Virginia, Naomi, Santos, Gigi. Any of you guys can send that to me on Remind. Oh, you don't know who lost. You got you, you don't know. I'm telling you, it was crazy that last time um, this one team, they uh, they pulled it through. All right, team four, I need your wager. Let me know. Okay, I got one from team one. I got I got team one and team two. Um okay. I'll average those together. Team four, let me hear from you. Uh oh, you need the remind. All right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do one for you, team four. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do one for you. 
because I feel like I feel like I'm I'm hearing the vibes. Okay. All right. So here we go. Here's your question. Oh, I gotta get the I gotta get the the Jeopardy music playing. Hold on. Let me let me get that. Jeopardy music. So you're gonna have uh, the time that the Jeopardy th song is playing to send me the um, answer. All right, you're gonna send it on Remind. If you're not on Remind yet, yes, you're gonna answer on Remind, yes. Someone on your team is, so just throw good vibes towards that person. And it doesn't have to be the one that says it first, because remember, this is Final Jeopardy, so if you get the answer right, you get the amount of points that you wagered. Okay. Oh, hold on. Of course, there's an ad. Of course. Holidays are coming. I'm excited about the holidays. I like I like holidays. Okay, here we go. Uh, here's the question. I'm going to start this over so you have time to read the question. What does this picture show in relation to the 15th century? Think in terms of technology. Make sure you're specific in your answers. And I gotta get I gotta get a new internet. I'm putting that on my list. Okay, stop. I'm done with you. All right, I gotta get a, a clean piece of paper here so I can tally this up. All right, what do we got? Let's see. Team. Oscar is team three. Okay, so Ryan, you are team one. Right? Hold on, just give me a, just a minute so that I can tally it. I've never had this many teams. This is stressful. No, it's just kidding. Uh, do, I can do it. I can do it. I believe in myself. So here you are, team two. Awesome. We got one for team two. And then Ryan B., Hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard, which team are you on? Not seeing you on here and I can't remember. Oh, you're on team two. Okay, awesome. And for Dean. Mm -hmm. And I got Gigi. Gigi, you are on team four. All right, do I have an answer from team three or team five? Team three or team five? That's who I'm missing. Got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Team three, team five, 30 seconds. Oswaldo, you are team five, okay. Okay. Yes, Harshdeep, you are on team three, yes. Oh, this is this is interesting. This is really interesting. All right. Uh, team three, I'm still waiting on possible answers from you guys. You got 10 seconds. Tabina, that is a part of it. 
but not all of it. All right, so for any uh, part of the answer, you could have talked about how, oh, 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 what's this one? Oh, it's just a smiley face, okay. So for any part of the answer, you could have talked about how the Chinese ships were larger and more advanced than European ships. You could have talked about how like this technology um, was like spreading trade and increasing trade. But the biggest take home here is that the Chinese ships were humongous, whereas the European ships were a lot smaller and less advanced. So um, team three, I didn't really get a very good answer from you. So um, you guys are out. So sorry, team three. Uh, team five, let me number these so I get them right. Um, Ryan was team one, team two and team four. Okay, so uh, in fourth place is team four with 1,200 points. You guys did a good job. You got the right answer and you got your wager. Uh, but unfortunately, All right, I'm back. Right when I'm trying to give you this the score, come on, internet. Um, I, I am calling AT and T because I'm really mad about their service. Um, and if I can't get anywhere, we're getting different internet people. This is ridiculous. All right, so team one and team two, you're tied with 3,200 points. What? Completely tied, 3,200 points because both of you guys got it right. So we need a tie breaker. Drum roll, please. So team one and team two, if you are on team one or if you are on team two, get your fingers ready. Get them ready because I got to give you a um, uh, yes, Nord. Yep, absolutely. So team one, team two, this is the first ever Jeopardy tiebreaker that we're going to have. Uh, team five had 1402, Ryan, 1402. All right, so I got to think of a tiebreaker question. Hmm. <laughs> a tiebreaker question. Um. All right, I got one. Are we ready? Team one, team two. No, you can do it right here in the chat. Do it right here in the chat. The first one that I get in the chat will win it and take it home. Bragging rights, everything. You're going to answer right here in the chat, okay? Here's your question. Tell me why Mansa Musa was important. Tell me why Mansa Musa was important. First one in the chat. Tell me why Mansa Musa was important. I'm going to see if it pulls up here first. Yasmin, he was the richest man. Okay, Pari says he's the wealthiest man. He went on a hodge. Uh, Mansa Musa went on a hodge and spread, spread Islam, not spread, it spread, it spread Islam uh, in West Africa. Okay, so I'm going to say, Ryan, you got it for team one. That was the best one so far. Uh, the other ones were all correct, uh, but I'm looking for, you know, why he was so important. He went on this hot. Well, you didn't talk about how he was rich, though. Uh, Ryan, who else is on your team? Let's see. Melanie is on your team. She talked about wealth in the next one. So I'm sorry, guys. The judge has ruled. Team one, you took home the trophy this week. Woohoo! Team one. Team one representing. All right. So team one was Ryan, Alina, Perry, Koala, Mel, Gigi, and Khalid. Uh, very good. Or uh, oh, and Saba. I forgot. Saba's off to the side there. So great job, guys. Awesome take home for the win. Uh, very much fun. I hope you had a good time. Don't cry. There's always next time. Uh, we'll do this every unit if you guys liked playing. I, I enjoy playing. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, thank you, Kike. I believe, I believe that's true. It's fun for all. But uh, what about the extra credit? 
what about the extra credit? Well, yeah, absolutely. We want the extra credit, right? Um, so real quick, um, I know I got Ryan and I think Ryan is, uh, tell me your real name and then the teacher you're with if you don't have me. My kiddos, I got you. Alina, I'm not sure, uh, are you with Miss Diorio? Let me know. Uh, Saba, let me know your real name. Safa, okay. Safa, you owe me 75 cents. Why, because they won? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, so if I don't have your real name, just put your first name. Just give me your first name. Okay, Miss Diorio, got you, Ryan. Um, Richard, I got you. Got you, Miss Diorio. All right, Koala isn't, you're in my first period. All right, sweet. Uh, Alina is with Miss Diorio. Okay. Awesome. Great. I got you guys. Crew, let me know who you are so that I can get you points. Uh, it's first stage of grief. Oh, I'm so sorry, crew. It'll be all right. Next, next time. You might get them next time. Arnav, uh, you're in Miss Diorio's. Okay, I got to find you on here. I want to make sure you guys get points. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got you, Arnav. Saba, can you tell my teacher to give me extra credit too? I absolutely will. Uh, <laughs> where, where are you from, Saba? Let me know. Um, Akash is salty confirmed. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, is it on a major grade? No, Richard, it's not on a major grade. But hey, any extra credit is extra credit. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, I think he was on here a little bit earlier, so he might have seen you, Saba. You can tell him. Tell him you were on here. And um, and uh, if he doesn't, I'll I'll get a hold of him because I think I think he's on the Facebook group. I think that's how he found out. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, GG. Okay. Uh, Guyan from Miss Risley. Okay. GG is Guyan. All right. Khalid is Miss Risley too. Is it Khalid or Khaled? Let me, I think it's Khalid, but if it's Khaled, let me know. Um, Trang, I got you. Yasmin, I got you. Um, uh, Aphrodite, let me know, um, who you are so I can make sure you get points. Akash must wallow in sorrow. Oh, only until the next time, Akash. Maybe you'll win the next time. Uh, Carlos Marine. Ah, Kike is Carlos. Okay, I got you, Carlos. I wondered because of your last name, so I got you. Okay, I think I got everybody. Uh, Richard, if you did this on Teams, you could answer with our voices. That's true, Richard, but here's the problem. Voices gets really confusing, and then also, um, you know, you, like we can't buzz in really, so that's why this is a little bit better platform. We tried it on Teams once, it was super confusing. Plus, we can't have awesome visitors from other classes. We had a couple of kids from, from other classes on here tonight. Last year when we played this, we had some kids from California and Florida, and that was super fun. All right. So I've got, let's see, when's the next time? So here, the next time we'll play it uh, for unit three whenever we do the test or if we have like a quiz or something. All right. Kathleen for Risley. All right, if I didn't get you yet uh, with your real name, let me know just your first name. Thank you, Yasmin, I appreciate it. I got I got everybody that's in my class. Esther, you're Miss Risley, all right, got you. So thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate it. Oh, Saba, I wish you were in my class too, that'd be fun. But you know, um, you can always join us. This is kind of like, a, uh, I called it the COVID class in the spring. I had a lot of kids in here um, uh, during the spring. And uh, Mr. Asim, he, I think, I think he's commented before on my um, Facebook post. I think that's how um, I have seen his name. So um, maybe he and I can uh, do like a collaboration and get more of your classmates on here. That might be kind of fun. Ask him about it. 
I'm definitely up for that because um, he can be on the stream yard too. I just got to get faster internet. Uh, yes, Virginia, everybody gets extra credit. Of course. Um, I'm all about the extra credit. Um, but of course, team one gets a little bit more because they won. Uh, thank you for hosting. You're so welcome to eat. No problem. Uh, I had a good time. It's cool. Thank you for the live stream. You're so welcome. All right, guys. Well, um, I think I got everybody. Uh, Idris, I don't know whose class he was in. Let me know if he's still on here. Idris, uh, let's see. Ridwan, whose class is Ridwan? Life of Heaven. I don't remember who that was. Naomi, were you in my in my class? I don't. Well, I think I might have a Naomi. Uh, I think I got everybody else. Uh, Peace. If she's if he or she is still on here, and I think everybody else, Aphrodite, did you say you were in? I can't remember whose class you were in. Oh, Kathleen Risley, got you. I already wrote you down, so I got you. So the only other ones that I don't have on here, uh, Idris, I'm not sure if you're from West Side or not. So just let me know. Uh, everybody else I got. So you'll be getting some extra credit from this. Let's see. Naomi is Miss Diorio. All right, Naomi, I got you. Just want to make sure I get your names to the right peeps, you know. Uh, peace is Miss Risley. Okay, sweet. All right. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining in and making this the best Jeopardy game ever. We could have probably had like eight teams. Benita. All right. Benita is Miss Diorio. Thank you. You are looking out for your teammates. Thank you, Alina. I appreciate it. Uh, gotcha, Benita. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head out of here. Good luck on your exam. When you take it, uh, unit two, I hope you do well. Um, I think you will. You guys definitely have the knowledge. So just take your time on those multiple choice. Look at the question and try to narrow down the ones that you absolutely know are not right. And then you usually have like one or two left that, well, you at least have one, right? Because one of them has to be the right answer. But there's usually that distractor. So look at that distractor, really look at the words and make sure that you're choosing the best answer. That's what you want to do. Don't forget to read the question first so that you know what you're looking for when you're looking at the document. And you may not even have to read the document. Sometimes you can get the answer without reading the document. So next Jeopardy will be uh, before the next unit test. Three and four are kind of big units, so we might play Jeopardy like in between, but I'll definitely uh, have it advertised. And if you want to follow me on uh, Instagram or um, I think I pretty much just post it on Instagram. Sometimes I post it on, on TikTok, too. I am Time Machine Teacher on all of those platforms. So just follow me there and then I will post it when we're going to have it. All right, Saba. Thank you so much for joining us. Everybody, it was so fun. I can't believe we had so many people in here. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. And don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. And that way you won't miss anything. If you haven't watched the Black Death video, make sure and watch it. And say hi to my dragon when you watch that video. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for joining. Again, I had so much fun. It was just a blast. So have a great night. And good luck on your unit test.